Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to CMRCRacing.com and another one of these beautiful CMRC YouTube clips. Look at this, standing by with number 111, three-time Canadian champ Dusty Clad. That's a one on each one of his, on his bike for each one of his championships. I love that number, by the way, that thing's totally choice. Dusty, before we go any further, I want to know what is your favorite nickname, because there's a few of them out there. People calling you the Campbellville Crusher. There's other, some other people out there, they're calling you the DK Broiler. Then there's the Coiler. What is it? What's your favorite name? <laughs> I don't know about the Coiler. I think uh, I think I only heard that one come from you there, Travis. But uh, whatever, you know what? If you want to call me something, go for it. Whatever anybody wants to call you is well, good with you. Maybe not go that far, but if you got a nickname, just I don't know. Let it be, I guess. Mathis is at least kind of flows a little bit. Yeah. But uh, yeah, sure, I'll go with it. Mathis is a jerk. Don't like Mathis. Of course I like Mathis. All right. I'm just having some fun. All right, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, you seem really light this weekend, and I like that. You know, first few rounds of season and getting into our Western trip, you seemed like there was a lot of pressure on you. I think things have lightened a little bit because you've been riding a lot better. But today you seem a little light. You've been laughing a little bit. I like that. A little bit. Well, I wouldn't say laughing too much. I mean, uh, ever since the Nymo second moto, I wasn't able to ride all, all the week coming into Edmonton. And then after Edmonton, my foot was... Still sore, and when I had to go get it x-rayed, it turned out that I have a broken foot, so I've been raised. I rode that whole second moto with a broken foot in last weekend, so it's uh, a bummer for sure, and it sucks not being able to, to ride my bike during the during the week. I mean, I just was trying to do gym stuff that I was able to work my foot and keep my cardio up, but besides that, I mean, it's... It's gonna hold me back a little bit, I think, but uh, I'm not too worried about it. I mean, right at this point in time, we don't got nothing to lose, and we just gotta go out there and do the best we can, try to get a, a win. Okay, well, I think you're full of crap. Let's look at a couple facts. First of all, fastest lap time today in practice. You put on a huge charge in that first moto last weekend in Edmonton, or last round, when you made it all the way back to second place from a not so good start. I, I don't believe you. I think that you've got a lot out there. I think you can win motos, even the way that you're feeling. I think even with that broken foot, you can win motos. Not for sure. I mean, I'm, after that three-week break coming into Nanaimo, I felt awesome coming in and felt way more relaxed on the bike and definitely starting to feel a lot more, more like myself. And, uh, you know, even today, I, mean, I, only, I was only able to ride once out of the, the two-week break that we had, and I feel good this weekend. I feel smooth out there and uh, I'm able to charge the track pretty good. So, But I mean, I've always been able to put in a good lap time. It was just a matter of trying to put two two motos together this whole season. It's kind of been my big problem besides go for dunes, but hopefully we can uh, change things around. Well, you know what? You're a three-time champ. You've got all that experience under your belt, but it still shows that even at this point in your career, it's difficult. It's not simple. It's not an easy, hey, I show up to the track, I win, is it? <laughs> Oh, definitely not. I mean, a lot of kids up here in Canada have definitely uh, stepped up the game, and I think a lot of them have kind of realized going down to the States or whatever or having a place to ride kind of a little more through winter can help you improve or pick up more speed or technique, I guess, through the winter time. So uh, I think that's definitely what's been helping a few of them out for sure. Okay, let's get into some, uh, some interesting details. Uh, newly engaged which I think is odd, but good, good but odd. I'm only saying odd because I think you're too young for that nonsense, and I think if I was um, in control, I would say not yet. Not yet, my young friend. But anyway, that's cool. Tell us about that. What's going on there? Uh, week and a bit before Nanaimo. Went up to Mount Washington, uh, went up to the top of the hill, proposed the lady up to the top, so it was a good time. I mean, love Kayla a lot, and she's just a good time. We get along. It almost seems too well, and I've really found that with, uh, with anyone or any girl that I've been with, so I can't complain there. Any tears? No tears. What do you mean? She didn't shed a tear when you proposed to her? Uh, she's seen it coming, she said. Oh, geez. Did, she, did you get down on the knee and everything? Like, did you pull that one off? Yeah, I did the, <laughs> the whole thing on that one, but uh, <laughs> yeah, it was, a, it was a pretty funny time anyway. Beautiful. Number 111, Dusty Clatt. We're going to look for him up on the podium. I think he's going to uh, win a moto this weekend. CMRCRacing.com.